blue is the colour of distance. It's the colour of anything far away and the colour of where you can never reach. It is also the colour of the light that is lost. This relationship to blue and light and in capturing that blue of distance, you can see in Cerulean Cycles and also in the Halite's work. My name's Jessica Lachlan. I'm a South Australian-based artist working in kiln form glass. I was originally from Melbourne, but I studied at Canberra School of Art under Stephen Proctor before coming to Adelaide and setting up my practice here. So I work in the area of kiln form glass, and kiln form glass essentially means forming or fusing glass in a kiln. I see my material as glass and light, and I'm using glass to hold light and reflect light and also split light. I use a glass called opaline glass, and what's so beautiful about this glass is it acts very similar to light in the sky. It only reflects the blue end of the spectrum of white light while transmitting the warm tones of white light. So when light is coming through it, it creates an orange glow. But when light is bouncing off it, it creates almost like blue tones. So one of the most fabulous places to observe light is out in the outback of South Australia, particularly the Salt Lakes. Walking out into those big spaces, I really am interested in the view we look upon that we can't get to. And I think I like questioning that view, that distance in the horizon. Is that a real space or is that a space of the imagination? I cut up the glass into shapes that I want, um, multiple different shapes, and then stack them in the kiln and fuse them together. I think what I really like by some of the processes I use to make my work, particularly the hand grinding, such a meditative, repetitive process. And that kind of process puts you into a very calm state. And it's a sense of stillness and reposition. And it's in that state that you have a very creative mind and the subconscious gives you those ideas. There's a series of works where I grind up glass powder and then I use water almost like using a brush. And I move that powder across the surface of the glass and then I let the water evaporate and the marks of the evaporation lines and that residue stays on the glass before then that work goes into the kiln for firing. I suppose I see very tonally, so I'm always using glass and colour for its tonal value, and I layer up glass to create illusion of light. Translucent and opaque, transparent glasses all together to create depth in glass. I think too often we are looking for explanations and too often there's so much that has been told to us and not enough space to listen. And so my work is about listening. <laughs>